Mm. You know whose problem he is right this minute? Mm. Me. They're playing the Jets <laughs> this weekend. The Jets all time against the Eagles are 0 and 12. Mm. This is going to be a tough test, obviously, for Zach Wilson. Kmart, talk to me. What do we expect this Sunday? Give me some reason for hope. Give me some reason for excitement. Give me some reason to think the Jets can stun the world Sunday afternoon. Any given Sunday? No, I mean, I guess that's it. That's it. Got nothing better than that. No. Got nothing. Um, no, hope. no, no, no. I will say, in, in, in fairness to Zach Wilson, this is a huge matchup. But every single matchup for this kid has been huge. It has been a gauntlet literally a minute and a half into this season for him. Monday night, called into duty. He Dallas, then Patriots, then, then Chiefs. Sunday night, with Taylor Swift and all the pop and circumstances. The Hackett Bowl. The kid is improving. But unfortunately for the Jets, the margin of error is so slim for them because the defense has to be outstanding. Zach can't make mental mistakes. He will turn the ball over, but he can't make dumb mistakes. And the offensive line, which was a concern coming in, is now a bigger concern. I can't believe I'm going to say this. They have to give him the chance to make mistakes, yeah. right? They have to live Throwing with the, the mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Let him be what he's capable of being. Yeah, so I'm a nerd, so you're always trying to find out ways that the team that shouldn't win can. They absolutely could win this game. Obviously, they have to play tremendous defense. I, I think, number one, be aggressive on those early downs. They have to be willing to be aggressive and not go run, run, pass. Number two, I would actually get into a lot of empty versus the Eagles, meaning only my five offensive linemen are blocking, and you got five wide receivers out. Again, early downs to try to get the ball out of his hands yeah. and to get to take advantage of a little bit of the Eagles' zone defense. Number three, and I mentioned this, the Eagles are starting to play a little bit more man and pressure. I think he's got to work opposite Darius Slay. Now, that's not saying Bradbury is not a good corner, but Slay is playing at a really high level in man coverage. So it maybe doesn't go to Garrett Wilson in those situations. Maybe it does go to Alan Lazard, but working away from Slay. The last thing is this. Robert Sala has to steal two possessions somehow in this game. Steal two. I don't care if it's maybe being over aggressive on fourth down, maybe being special teams opportunistic and a fake in some capacity. They are not going to win this football game just lining up and playing. So is there a way? Absolutely. If I were them, that's the way that I would go about doing it. Uh, but it's a big challenge, obviously. And for the Jets, when you look at them from a defensive perspective, I want to see that defensive line versus the best offensive line in football. Yeah. Because if they can win their matchups, that means they're going to be able to limit the run game, which we know the Philadelphia Eagles want to do, run the football. But also – You've got to get them in the third and seven. I, I think the best duo, wide receiver duo in football right now, is A.J. Brown Devonte Devontae Smith. You have to limit those two guys. Yeah. Let's put the picks up on the screen. Uh, give me a, 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 the final word, D. Wood, on this. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, give that's me the, the final, final word, word, Greeny. That's the final word. <laughs> no, for me, it's, it's a lot of what, like, if you're going to go down swinging, like, do it aggressively with, with Zach. Like, I would say motion, yes. too. Yeah, yeah motion. like, like whatever, whatever happened, what we saw in the Kansas City game, I need about, like, five times more of that. That's, well, that's what I need. the opposite way? All right, why we'll see what be? happens. That's those picks. we got to make a few more, as only we can. It is time for Big Man Tiny Helmets. <laughs> Welcome to the most dangerous this segment. Very... Big Man Tiny Helmet. Get the goggles ready. Oh. That went right by my face. Things just got real. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Turn to the side. Turn to the side. <laughs> Graziano's got a lot of potential. <laughs> Oh, oh, smoke. There's no coming back from that. I, I think that might be my best. All right, here we go. The most dangerous five minutes of our week. It is time for Big Man Tiny Helmets as the big man D. Wood will smash the helmet of the losing team in these matchups. All right, we got Seahawks, Bengals. Mm. Joe Burrow a little better last week. Seahawks a really good team. That's down here. Yep. Smash uh, the uh, losing team D. Wood. Oh, night, night. see, look, look at that. I'm glad night, you. I'm glad, Dano, you were you were down there. Yeah. See how that shrapnel. You yeah. went up over. Yeah, that I, was did. Close. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. yeah. Close. Listen, I, I think last week was a jumping off point for for the Cincinnati Bengals. We saw the true Joe Burrow, the guy that's healthier, being able to move around. If we see more of that, I think the Bengals are in good position. So let's put the picks up on the screen as we go through it. What do you, uh, everybody on Cincy. Yeah, I, I completely agree. So, Seattle's secondary has struggled this year mm -hmm. up until when they played the Giants. Um, I actually think the other side of the ball is going to be the, the biggest story. Can Seattle's offense have success against Cincinnati's defense? Because 
I think Shane Walsh under play caller is as good as you know, yes. helping quarterbacks in the NFL as a coach is right now. So I think Cincinnati's D's got to show up. Right, let's do the Belichick Bowl here. This is Josh McDaniels and Jimmy Garoppolo against their old boss. Uh, let's see it here. So Raiders, uh, Patriots smash the loser. Oh, I can't oh, yeah. see you. I wow. can't yeah. Yeah. see you. Wood. Go, she be evaporating. I see you. Yeah. This here. Yeah. This it, dust. Why? Just disintegrate. It's over for Bill. It's have over. You, have you watched the Patriots? Oh, I have oh. watched. They stink right now. They stink. Put the picks up on the screen. Anybody riding Bill here? Let me see. Oh, Kmart. Ooh. Why do you like the Patriots? <laughs> this is one of those games where it's like if, if you don't figure it out, then it's over. I think that what the last two games has to be the wake up call. I think Belichick is going to come out with Mac Jones. They're going to, it's going to be completely different than what we've seen, D Wood. I have faith. All right, we'll see. Maybe. I got time for one more. Let's do Cowboys Chargers Monday night, the Kellen Moore Bowl, all the rest of that. Oh, Dan, oh. it makes me so nervous Here when you're go. down there. Okay, oh, this is smash good. the losing team. Oh! That he's on the Chargers. Crazy. Yeah. Nice. That broken multiple pieces, yes. yeah, by did. the way. It did. <laughs> yeah. It oh, actually it, it hit me, by the way. You so like I the think Chargers. I'm okay. I do. I do. Yes, I like the Chargers. I, I, I think that Kellen Moore is going to attack this this uh, Dallas Cowboys secondary. Right, but, we, we talked about it earlier. Right. Like they're going to push the ball down the field. I think they're going to they're going to make some big plays. Let's see the picks. Oh, uh, Danny, you got why the Cowboys? Because I still think the Cowboys are a good team, um, and I think that. Hopefully they are resharpened focus-wise. Chargers are a good team. I think Dallas is a good team as well. well. I think how the Cowboys come out in this game is going to tell us a lot about their mental, right? They got embarrassed. Don't let Sunday San Francisco football. beat you twice. Exactly. That's the thing. That's the I thing. don't want to say that D. Wood is the strongest person in the world, but he and I just bumped arms. And I think my watch broke. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is, can I take this home? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take awesome. it home. Why not?